Okay, in this problem, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a quick probability problem from a table. I'm going to do a couple of these, um, one from a tree diagram, one from a table, just just to kind of you know, give a little review for my students here. Um, the data on the table, in the table below, refer to a sample of randomly selected students, 60 randomly selected students. Okay, that's important, so boom, let's look at 60 right there. Okay, um, fine, fine, okay, so you have your totals here, you have classified by environment, growth rate. Let's just dig right into this. Find the probability of a plant being in a desert environment. Okay, well, a desert environment is here. Um, there's 13 of them. Okay, that, and the you know, probability is part out of total, so it's just going to be 13 out of 60. And, you know, you don't need to turn it into a decimal or anything like that. You don't need to reduce the fraction. That's fine. Okay, and I'm just going to switch colors as I go here. So for this one, we'll do it in blue. Um, let's do this one in green. Okay. Um, find the probability of a plant having a low growth rate and being in a waterlogged environment. Okay, the key word there is and. Okay, if it said or, you would count all the low growth rates and all the waterlogs, but it says and, so it has to be low and waterlogged. So that would be this one right here. So that one's going to be 16 out of 60. Okay, moving along. Um, let's do find the probability of a plant, part three here, not being in a temperate environment. Okay, well, not being in a temperate environment. Um, temperate environment's right here. So, you know, we can just add those two together. 13 plus 29 is 42, or just do 60 minus 18, which is 42. So that's going to be 42 over 60. And again, just leave it. You don't have to reduce it, which is nice. Okay. Um, now, a plant is chosen at random from the above group. Find the probability that the chosen plant has a high growth rate or is in a waterlogged environment, but not both. Okay, so we want high growth rate, which would be, you know, right here, right here, waterlogged, but not both. So we don't want this one right here. We don't want that one. So let's just add this. 4 plus 7 is 11, plus um, 16 is 27 out of 60. Okay, so that is going to be whoop, right there. And finally, you know, let's do um, this one right here. Oh, this is kind of the same color. A low growth rate given that it's in a desert environment. Okay, well, they're just talking about, this is conditional probability. They're talking about a desert environment here. So given that it's in a desert, how many is it low? Well, it's 9. So this one's just going to be 9 out of 13. So the thing to remember with a table and conditional probabilities, you're always just going to be looking at one part of the table. Okay? Okay, so now let's look at the last part. It says the 60 plants in the above group were then classified according to leaf type. They had type A leaves, and that's original, B leaves, and C leaves. Okay, no problem. Okay, two um, plants were randomly selected. Okay, anytime you see something like this, and the way these problems always work is they go from um, you know, simple probability to independent probability, which in which case is it's not hard, but it just gets a little one more step. So it says find that they're find the probability that they're both B leaves. Okay, well, the first B leaf, you know, the probability of getting that is just you know 36 out of 60. Okay. Now, anytime you do two things, independent probability, you're gonna you know multiply. Okay, and then. You know, the next one, you've already taken one of them out. So there's 35 B leaves left, and there's only 59 leaves left. Okay? So if, you know, if you see that right there, you know, j just break that out on your calculator, and you're good to go. Okay? So in this case, it would be, let's see, um, you know, 36, um, you know, times 35. I like to do, I like to keep them fractions, personally. But you could change them into decimals. That's 1260, uh, and this would be 3540. Um, you can get, you can reduce this if you want. Um, let's see, 1260 divided by 3540. Press enter, and then just go math fraction. Boom. 21 over 59. Okay, so 21 over 59. I can do 60 times 59 in my head, but I cannot reduce that in my head. Okay, um, now let's look at um, neither of the plants have type A leaves. So it's going to be a B or it's going to be a C leaf, right? So we have 36 plus 9, so that's going to be 45 out of 60, okay? 
uh, times, you know, it's going to be the, take one away, 44 out of 59. So again, we're going to have, you know, the 35, 40 here. Now, this is 45 times 44 is, um, you know, is 1980. Um, I've done this problem before, so I remember that because 1980 is Miracle on Ice. Anyway, if you reduce that 1980, it'd be, it's 33 out of 59. Okay, so the thing you want to take out of the, this problem is the difference here between independent probability, and this is non-replacement, and then you have your dependent probability here, uh, or sorry, simple probability here, um, you know, where you just, you just have to be careful what they're asking for. Look, look carefully when you see words like and or or, but not both, those types of things. And most of these work kind of the same way. Um, they might throw a chi-squared problem on at the end of it if it was paper two, and that's all right, too. Okay, and let me know if you have any questions. Hope this helped you out. Take care.